The Milwaukee Bucks in a battle at home against the Phoenix Suns in game four of the NBA Finals in downtown Milwaukee. Devin Booker had the hot hand for the Suns. He's got 38 points going into the fourth quarter, but he got into foul trouble late in the game, which helped the Bucks get back in it. The Bucks playing from behind early. Chris Middleton going baseline. He gets the deuce left-handed. Bucks down three. He's the early highlights. Milwaukee finally tying things up. Middleton over to Brooke Lopez for the bucket. Then Devin Booker, the tough shot. The game was tied up at 52 at half. Right now, the Bucks are up 97 to 95 in the fourth quarter. Pat Connaughton with a big time three. They put the Bucks up. So let's go ahead and send it out live to our Lance Allen. Lance, what a game. You missed it, but Pat Connaughton had a big three. We, uh, Giannis had 24 so far. Chris Middleton, 30. Brooke Lopez, 14. But Devin Booker, for the silly fouls, helped the Bucks get back in this game. And Booker just had his 40th point rod to tie it up 97-97 with under three minutes to play. Devin Booker with 40 incredible points in this one. They've tried a little bit of everything on him. He's been complaining to the officials nonstop and somehow getting the calls, but he is playing with his fifth ball. Drew Holiday has not had a great game offensively, but has done the job on Chris Paul defensively. Chris Paul with eight points. Chris Middleton, you mentioned it, 30 points. He has led the way for the Bucs because something does not seem right with Giannis. I've watched him during timeouts in between the first and the second quarter. He slowly walked in to the bench area up and down the sideline. Just seems like something is just a little bit off even though he has 26 points and 13 rebounds. So hopefully we will see if we can get some answers to that post game. But man this one is going to go right down to the wire. Kind of like what you and I both thought. This one's going to be a nail biter to see if they can tie it up. Rod back to you. Hey Lance you make a great point about Giannis because early in the game he asked out and his brother went to the coach and said hey uh, Giannis wants to get out of the game he got out he sat down did you did you pick up anything did you see anything or you hear anything while you were in there in the arena yeah, basically the only thing we know is that during timeouts, I've watched him and he moves very, very slow. And there was one time where he basically uh, fell down and it took him a long time to get back up as well and have his teammates help him back up. So he's just moving slow, not as, ag as aggressive as what he normally is, still with a pretty good effort. So we'll have to get uh, answers on that after the game. Hey, Lance, let everybody at home know how cool it is in there and how loud it is right here for game four of the NBA Finals. You're in the house. How, tell them how I was there on Sunday. Tell them how loud it is and how, how exciting it is to be there for just the fans that cheering on the Bucks. Absolutely incredible, Rod. You know, it is one of the loudest buildings in the NBA now. And every time they hit a big shot, this crowd is trying to will the Bucks to victory in game four to tie this thing up to all. And then the celebrities, everybody they put up on the board, including some of the 50th anniversary 71 championship Bucks like Kareem and Oscar and John McLaughlin and Bobby Dandridge, they got a huge ovation as well. Craig Council in the building. So it's an electric atmosphere. All right, Lance, we're going to let you go. But right now, it's tied at 99 apiece. I know you're going to run back in there, so <laughs> with two minutes left in the game. Good work. And that's sports for now. We're going to we'll be back with more news and weather right after the break.